Mira gazed out at the glowing city, wishing someone could hear the quiet feelings in her heart. As the gentle creature hovered close, Mira felt a warmth she hadn't known in a long time. And her friend listened with a kindness that made her feel lighter. Look closely. Different worlds, different lighting, different moods. But one thing never changes. The character. Same face, same emotional identity. The same story flowing through every setting. Most AI tools struggle with this. Even tiny changes can break a character's identity. But when you learn the technique behind these scenes, your videos will achieve 100% character consistency. And that consistency is one of the strongest drivers of viewer engagement. This is character consistency. As you can see, the scenes change, but our characters remain consistent. This makes it easier for viewers to stay connected to the story. In a moment, you'll learn exactly how to create this level of character consistency using free tools. Today, I'm breaking down the exact workflow for creating animations with consistent characters. First, we'll create the story and characters. Then, we'll build our scenes and animate them. Finally, we'll edit everything together into a final video. Once you master this method, you can turn any idea into an animation with consistent characters for free. Let's dive in. If you are enjoying this content, like the video and subscribe to the channel so YouTube shows you more videos like this. Everything begins with a story, even a small one. I start by creating a 60-second emotional story between a child and a futuristic creature friend. I'm using this prompt to generate the story. I'm using ChatGPT, but you can use any AI you prefer. I also include a life lesson, which gives the story resonance and puts a smile on parents' faces. Okay, now we have our short story ready. This will be the backbone of our video. To build our scenes, I break the story into 12 parts. I use this prompt to make sure every scene includes the essential elements, character, emotion, motion, and setting. Each scene also includes the character names, which is crucial for keeping their identity stable later. Without clear identifiers, AI can easily mix or alter characters. Okay, now we have our story ready in 12 scenes with details like setting and character emotions. Now let's create our characters. I'm using this prompt to generate the character image descriptions. Character prompts will lock your character's identity. Everything from personality to signature features helps the model maintain a consistent emotional palette. After my first production, I realized details like hair color were missing, which are important for stronger character consistency so I entered a second prompt to include color information. If you're not satisfied with the results from LLMs, don't hesitate to edit the answers like this. Okay, now we have our character prompts ready, complete with details like eye and hair colors. For character and scene creation, we'll use Whisk, which you can use to create both characters and scenes for free. I'm leaving the link in the description. After selecting the WISC tool, you can log in with your email address. Once you're in, you'll see a simple dashboard. First, I upload the reference image into the style section to set our visual look. I'm using this image as my style reference. Then I click the plus button in the subject section to create our first character. I copy the character prompt for our first character, Mira, and paste it into Whisk. Our character is generated. I repeat the same steps for the second character. With this, we've created and locked our characters for the story. Now let's move on to creating the scenes. Now we will create our scene images. For this, I'm copying the details of the first scene we created in step one and pasting them into Whisk. Since the first scene only includes Mira, I'm deselecting the second character from the left menu. 
Make sure only the characters that appear in the scene are selected. Okay, our first scene is ready. I'll create the next scenes to show you the character consistency. As you can see, we now have different scenes with different character motions, but our main character Mira and Lumo stays consistent. I'll continue creating the remaining scenes, and you'll see that characters stay consistent across all scenes. Now we have all 12 scenes ready. Even the images flow nicely like a story, thanks to strong character and style consistency. The motions change, but the characters and overall style remain the same, just like a professional animation. To animate our scenes, we first need to create our animation prompts. I go back to ChatGPT and enter this prompt to generate the scene motion prompts. We'll use these motion prompts to turn the scenes we created into a cinematic experience. They define camera movement, emotional energy, and subtle environmental motion. Now that we have our motion prompts ready, we can move on to Grok. Before we start using Grok, we need to adjust one small but important setting. Go to Settings, then to the Behavior section. I recommend unselecting the Auto Video Creation option here because Grok will automatically generate a video every time you upload an image. Now let's go to the Imagine section to animate our scenes. I'm uploading the first scene, then copying and pasting the motion prompt we generated for that scene. Let's see the result. Very nice. The camera movement, lighting actions, and subtle background music Grok adds automatically create an engaging cinematic motion. I'll repeat the same steps for the other scenes. Grok has a generous free plan, which allowed me to create all 12 videos for free. Now we have all our scenes animated. Our story comes to life step by step, right? Before we move on to creating the final video, I want to share a cool trick that lets you extend your short videos into long-form videos, however you wish. Grok allows you to create six-second clips, but you can turn them into longer videos with a simple trick. For example, I want to extend this scene. First, I download it to my computer and take a screenshot of the final frame. Then I go back to Grok and upload that screenshot as a reference image for a new video. After entering a continuation prompt, I generate the next part of the scene. Okay, it's finished. Let's see it. Very nice. It really feels like a seamless continuation. Let me quickly stitch them together in CapCut. All right, it's done. Let's watch it. Perfect. We created a 12-second video that plays like a single continuous scene. Even the sound effects and music matched naturally between the clips. You can use this trick to create longer videos from short clips in any tool. Let's continue with our main story video. Now I am returning to chat GPT to generate our voiceovers for narration. I am entering this simple prompt. I am happy with the first result. You can adjust tone and pacing until it matches your visuals emotionally. To create voiceovers, I'm using Eleven Labs. 
They have a generous free plan, but for commercial use, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. In the Voices section, you'll see many ready-made AI voices in different categories. I use the filters to narrow it down to English, American accent, and female voice. Then I test a few options. It's true. I haven't forgotten him. It wasn't the storm that changed her. It was... Great narration starts with an amazing voice. She tore her gaze away from her ruined footwear, still very much grieving the loss, and set herself to... It wasn't the storm that changed her. Okay, this one sounds good. I go to the text-to-speech section, paste the voiceover for the first scene. Select the voice. Then generate and download the audio to my computer. Mira gazed out at the glowing city, wishing someone could hear the quiet feelings in her heart. I repeat the same process for the other scenes. Now I will assemble everything in CapCut. First I bring all the scenes and voiceovers together and adjust their length and speed to sync them. Grok already adds subtle music and sound effects to the videos, but I'm adding a piano track on top to make it more dramatic. Finally, I add transitions between scenes for a smoother flow. Okay, our video is ready. When your scenes and voiceovers are prepared like this, the editing process takes just a few minutes. Let's see the final result. Since the video is 1 minute and 30 seconds long, I'll skip a few parts. If you want to watch the full version, you can find the link in the description. Mira gazed out at the glowing city, wishing someone could hear the quiet feelings in her heart. As the gentle creature hovered close, Mira felt a warmth she hadn't known in a long time. With a brave breath, Mira followed her new friend into the shimmering night. Together, they wandered through secret glowing gardens where the city felt full of wonder. Mira shared her lonely thoughts, and her friend listened with a kindness that made her feel lighter. As her friend floated upward, it gifted her a glowing courage she could keep forever. With dawn rising, Mira stood stronger than before carrying the light of their friendship inside her. All right, that's the full workflow. From story, to characters, to scenes, to animation, all the way to a polished final video. And as you can see right here, everything comes together beautifully when your characters stay consistent from start to finish. This is the kind of emotional continuity that makes your videos feel like real short films, even when they're created entirely with free AI tools. If you found this helpful or you want me to break down deeper techniques in future videos, let me know below. I actually love chatting in the comments. It's my favorite part of making these videos. So tell me what you think, what you're building, or what you want to learn next. I'll be there.